Thank you for tuning in. This is Yolanda from One Curious Box, and today I'm going to make a fake food piece for you. It is going to be a wingding flat. In this picture here, this is a full plate of fake food that I've made, and I've received requests to make and, and show people how to make them, so I'm here to do that for you today. And if you don't like aluminum foil, right about now you're going to hear, you might want to turn down your volume. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I am creating a core piece for my wing flat. This is going to not only save from um, using so much expensive clay, but also give a really great core piece for you to mold your um, wing flat or whatever you're using it for at the time because I recommend this for many pieces. So this, you, um, you'll see that here and um, I'm just molding it. I, I've eaten enough wings to know what it looked like so I'm going to go there uh, guys. So you will see that I will also add another piece of aluminum foil to give it bulk and we'll just go from there. Now, you see I'm using my hands to mold it, but a really great way to mold it as well is you can take the, the piece and you can press it down onto the tabletop to shape it. So, um, yeah, I'm going a little bit of the harder route there, but for those who don't want to strain their hands or can't use, the, um, that don't have that mobility, you can always take the piece and, and press it down on the table. Now what you see coming up is I'm going to condition the clay. Conditioning the clay is very, very important. You want to get it moldable and pliable. Now, I do use the the uh, clay pasta machine and the roller pin. Either one is fine, especially for this. Now, the roller pin is perfectly fine. With the roller pin, you're not going to get a completely flat and level piece. Um, that's what I'm doing there. So, and that's perfectly fine for this because we're not. It, it's not very important that we have uh, a, a level or even piece because we're just going to mold it over that uh, aluminum foil. So that's what I'm doing now, but conditioning is important because if you don't condition your clay, it can make your clay brittle um, during baking and it may not become pliable. So very important step here. Now I'm just taking that clay and I am molding it around that piece. And so that's why I like to make sure that my aluminum foil is shaped well because it makes this part easier. Now, if you don't have the best shape up to your piece with the aluminum foil, don't get discouraged because the clay can be built around that to give you the look that you desire. So right now, I'm just molding and pressing. Now, what you're going to see as well from time to time, you're going to see that I'm going to take my my knife and I'm going to uh, score it. When I'm doing that, I'm scoring it to get rid of any bubbles. Bubbles, it, bubbles are your enemy. You do not want bubbles because if you have air bubbles up under, it's like right there, I'm scoring that. So I'm pressing out that air. Um, what happens is that bubble will expand in the oven and it can really distort your piece so you want to make sure that you have a, um, a, a knife there so and this is a disclaimer as well this is something that if you are a child and if you are a mom looking at this for your child to do please um, you know work with your child with this piece because I don't want anyone getting hurt by using sharp uh, instruments but another thing here is I use my hands a lot so, um, you, you can find a lot of great tools around the house. Now, I do have a plethora of uh, crafting tools for my clay, but I find that with my larger pieces for my food, I just love to use my fingers and other things for texture. So, you'll see that coming up. So, right here, 
I am taking a piece of aluminum foil. You see, that's my best friend today. I am going to give it texture uh, by just making sure that, that when I tear that piece of aluminum foil, that rough piece of um, rough part of the aluminum foil is where I, what I'm using to press down to give texture. So I'm doing that there. And um, and you've seen how or a little bit earlier I took more clay. You can you use your clay. Now that's one of the reasons why I like to use that core piece for the uh, aluminum foil because that allows me to feel free to move use more clay because clay can be quite expensive. So um, yeah, you you can just you layer it uh, more, give it more of a shape, and you're gonna see that's what I'm doing here. So I'm using my knife here now to uh, give it more of an appearance of uh, wings. Now, there are some wooden tools that you can use besides this if you're doing this with your child. But uh, this is just my uh, my choice here to use the, uh, the knife. But um, now I'm just putting the divots and the curves to give that wing effect. So this video is all about shaping. So we're shaping it and we're giving that wing effect and then the next step is we're going to go ahead and bake it once the desire has been created. So um, from there uh, we're going to bake it and then part two I'm going to show you how to season and sauce the wing. So um, that's also a fun part for me. It gets a little bit tedious because we, because um, I actually use uh, epoxies for sauce, but you'll see that in part two when I'll have that out this week for you. But um, I really hope that you all have enjoyed this video. The more likes and subscribes I get, the more motivated I'm going to get to show you how I create my pieces and so just to give you a little background about me I'm not all about food I've created many things you can follow me on one curious box on Facebook and also one underscore curious underscore box on Instagram to see the plethora of items I've created over the years so please like and subscribe I will be getting that next video out for you it's been a pleasure to be able to make this video I've been doing it for years <laughs> I've been getting so many requests, but yet, you know, some of you out there to make videos, you know, it can be a little time consuming, but I'm taking the time for you guys. I have to say I owe this all to my Facebook followers because they have been, it's been an enormous request. For me to uh, make some tutorials and so that got me motivated so I'm uh, looking forward to making many more videos for you um, let's see here yeah right now you see that I'm, I'm adding that extra piece because sometimes when you take the um, aluminum foil or maybe your fingers can uh, put a lot of pressure or maybe there's not enough clay over the aluminum foil it tends to, sh uh, to show through so clay is very very forgiving just take a little piece cover it up and keep on going because this is not a precise piece I've never seen the perfect wing and if I did I'd probably be scared of it so <laughs> you have to just go with it go with the flow a little extra here or there is it would not be a problem because there's no one perfect wing that's going to look like every wing so you know give it a little extra clay if needed give it more texture um you know just enjoy the process thank you guys this is yolanda parker signing out have a wonderful day